taking part in a January battle that's been hosted on Instagram by uh, Liga Nalista. Um, and I'm going to be doing this Tropical V Desert. I'm actually doing this with my friend uh, Stephanie. She's doing the desert theme. Uh, she isn't uploading a tutorial, but you can check out her design on Instagram at stephanie.rose.nails. So be sure to check out her design. So I'm going to be using a new Ubersheek plate, as you can see here. And the inspiration for this actually comes from Ugala. I am convinced you will have heard of her as she is an auto, autumn, <laughs> awesome nail artist and uh, she did a design using this image and I kind of wanted to recreate it even though I'm not doing it exactly how she did it. Um, I'm going to be filling this in with Sharpies and I was going to try and blend it in with some isopropyl alcohol but as you will see <laughs> it didn't quite work. But basically what I love about this is that you can get a Sharpie and you're basically just colouring it in, which I find much easier than trying to fill it in with a brush. Um, so I just started off with this pink and sort of just kept going over the colour really till I was happy with it. And then I put some orange on the end and I wanted to use some isopropyl alcohol to kind of blend the two colours, but it just really watered it down. I didn't have a lot of isopropyl alcohol alcohol on my brush but as you can just see here it just almost like took that pink away that I had built up so basically I stopped doing that and I just colored it in and um, filled it in that way and I just went over the orange on the tips because that's kind of what the look that I wanted um, and I actually got it better personally by just going over it and <laughs> with the sharpies as opposed to using isopropyl alcohol so yeah, so this part of it is really, really easy. You're just basically filling it all in. Um, and I chose to do a, a different colour flower for each of the nails that it's on. So for this, I did actually use the isopropyl alcohol um, to blend it out. I just wanted it to be more blue at the top as opposed to white. But that's what I love about Sharpies with this is that, you know, you can fill it in. Um, which is loads, loads quicker and easier to do than filling it all in with a brush. So there you go, you just keep going until you're happy with the effect and that is how it looks. You want to make sure it is completely dry before you apply a top coat. So that's how my other nails look. And then uh, for the thumbnail I'm going to put this slogan here, nothing but blue skies. Um, which is obviously very fitting for a tropical mani. So I'm just getting rid of the bits that I don't want and place it on the thumbnail like so. So there you go. And then I'm going to be getting this super, super um, cute image here. This is Moyu plate. Um, so I'm just using these sort of like, it's not palm trees, but basically it's like a tropical scene. I'm just going to put that at the top. So there you go. And I'm actually going to take the Gorgeous Bird, um, but for this one I am going to be filling it in with a brush and on the stamper. Um, because it's going over a blue base, so I didn't want to... The colours would look different basically if I just coloured it in straight, straight onto the blue. So obviously we're going to have a nice bright and colourful bird, because that's what tropical birds would be like. So I'm just... Um, I'm using my Twinkle Tea Rainbow Stamping Polishes to fill this in. So there you go. This is really, really simple and easy because there isn't that much filling in and because it's quite a wide space, it's quite easy to do it fairly neatly as well. And what's good about doing it with a clear jelly stamper is you can just have a look at it beforehand to make sure that you've got everything um, covered. And I always go over with a white polish when I am done, just because that will make the colours show up even more um, on whatever base it is that you choose to use. So there you go. So you want to wait for this all to completely dry, and then you want to apply um, some top coat over the top. I know that there's dry stamping, but I'm just, I'm too much of a chicken, <laughs> because I basically I haven't got the patience to do it all again if I mess it up. Um, so I just do it this way and I know I can place it exactly where I want it. So there you go, there's my cutesy little bird. And you just want to get rid of any excess decal as well, as much as possible. 
and then you just want to place it on the nail like so it's not quite where I want it so I'm just going to adjust it slightly and press it down and what I actually did off camera was got some acetone and got a brush and just melted that top coat down so it wasn't as obvious so then before I move on I'm going to protect this little um, decal by applying a gel top coat and obviously I'm going to apply this underneath my lamp and then I'm going to be taking this same image that I used before <clears throat> and placing that at the top like so oops <laughs> there you go didn't want to separate and then I'm actually just going to blend some colors together um, I don't know if this is a flower or not or whether, what it's meant to be but I just wanted some bright colors sort of at the <coughs> sorry excuse me at the bottom of the nail so I'm just going to get rid of any excess bits that I don't want and place it on the bottom like so so this bird's just coming to get some lovely nectar <laughs> so there you go that's the design done I'm pretty sure I've heard somewhere that with Sharpies you're meant to apply a matte top coat first before you apply a glossy so that's what I've done with all of these and as you can see there is no uh, smearing or washing down of it and with this one I just felt like I wanted to make it stand out just that little bit more so I just got like um, a nail art pen and added some shadow onto it which is dead easy and simple to do and I find it much easier to do in a pen than I do with trying to do it with a brush so there you go I'm just going to finish the rest off on off camera so I didn't like do it like a complete outline but I just thought it brought that black into the design as well um, and I really loved the effect so I hope that you guys love it too but I am going to finish it off with a glossy top coat and that's what I'm going to keep it as so you get to see it as both and you can choose which look you prefer matte or glossy so I really enjoyed taking part in this battle um, and like I say make sure you check out my friend's um, design over on Instagram as well so that is it from me Jelly Babes I hope you've enjoyed it and until next time take care bye